Hey everybody, I'm Oakley at Oakley Does Everything, and today on part three of the chair restoration video, we're gonna be doing the final glue up on these chairs, so stay tuned. Okay, so we've let our repair joints glue up and dry, so here we have them. Now we are ready to go ahead and insert dowels and put the chair back together. Now the process that I have found easier for me is to reassemble the back part, so the back, the base, and the legs and then add the frame to it but to go one step further than that i actually like putting all the dowels in the corner pieces so i'll have four dowels in each corner and to do that i'm going to be using uh tight bonds liquid hide glue hide glue is best for these old antique furniture sets because this is reversible you can undo it redo it with less difficulty than it would if you use just regular wood glue. So let's go ahead and start putting some wood dowels in our corner pieces. When you're applying glue, you need to make sure that you have a good layer or coating over all surfaces involved. So I'm going to be putting glue into each hole. I'm gonna use the end of a pencil and no eraser and then just kind of like work that around. That way it gets around the entirety of the hole. And then I'm going to put a small layer on the dowel itself and then I'll go ahead and put that in as best as I can. We're gonna go ahead and put some dowels in these four holes and then the same four holes on the other leg. If you have squeeze out like I do here, all you need to do is get a wet paper towel and then just kinda of wipe that off so it doesn't dry on you where you don't want it to dry. And then wipe it off with a dry paper towel and then that isn't so messy. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the other three corners. Now before you go ahead and start gluing things together, you need to make sure that your dowels are the correct size because as you can see, some of these are incredibly long and they don't need to be anywhere near that length. What I have are my calipers and I'm just going to go around and measure the depth of each of the holes that these dowels are going to go in and then make a mark and then cut them off that way that they aren't too long and I don't because I don't want to get too start putting everything together and realize that it stops, you know, a quarter of an inch too early because it has nowhere to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my dowels to the correct length. Now I have all the pieces for the back to be ready for assembled and it's going to be the same process with gluing we need to put glue in each of the dowel holes as well as on on the outside of each dowel that we're going to be inserting when i do this i'm going to have to do the base first so the sides into the base of the back and then we're going to have to put the legs going into the top that the pieces that actually come in contact with each other also need glue on them. So we're gonna smear some glue in this area, that spread out so it's evenly coated. as we go along. We have the back all together, but we're not entirely done because now we need to move on to the legs or the front legs and the box that goes here. And we need to move kind of quickly because this has uh, about 30 minutes. So 
we're going to move forward, same process as everything else. So I'm going to set this aside and get going on the rest of it. Now, to try and make sure that this is as level as possible, we're going to go ahead and stack some things up on top of this, put some weight on it, it to settle into the position where you need it in. All right, so I have everything clamped up, set down. It feels pretty even. Uh, I have all of the feet on the ground or the level surface. And so I'm going to leave this to sit overnight. But before we leave it, we need to go ahead and wipe off any squeeze out that we have through any of the joints. And again, that's just paper towels and water. All right, so let this sit up overnight and we'll come back to it in the morning. All right, and so now this one is done. And before I, we move on to the captain's chair, Here's a quick time lapse of the other three chairs like this that I already did. Going to be it for this chair. In this set we had four without arms and two with arms and for the most part the process should be the same except for the arm so let's go ahead and take a look into that. So the chairs with the armrests on them as far as I understand are called captain's chairs. Now if they're not actually called captain's chairs and you know this for sure let me know in the comment section below I'm happy to learn from that. But basically to get to this point, it's the same process as the armless chairs to take off the upholstery, the springs, the padding, everything like that. I have, it's the same process. So looking around this chair, I have found how to remove these pieces and there are actually little set screws on the inside. So we need to remove these brackets here to be able to access them. Now I know that some of the other ones that I've tried to get access to, these brackets don't always want to come unglued. And so that's gonna be something we need to work around a little bit. Let's start with getting these unscrewed and out of the frame. Okay, so I turned off the camera because I was tired of looking at myself struggle th through getting this off. There is a diagonal wood peg and there really wasn't any give and I was being very careful to try and make sure to pull away from it diagonally and just kind of shimming it and that really wasn't getting me anywhere. Finally, it just kind of cracked the wood dowel as well as the front piece that goes right here. After it popped off, I noticed that there's actually old glue that previously connected these pieces. So this had been broken before and somebody had made a repair for it. Now at this point, it's just like the other chair. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the rest of this apart, put it back together. And in the next clip that you'll see, we'll have chair will be completely glued back up and I will be ready to put in the new dowels for this arm piece. The post for the legs, actually the dowels came out really clean and with no issues. So I'm actually just gonna scuff these up a little bit and reuse them rather than drilling them out and causing an issue or a potential issue. So I'm gonna leave these the same, clean up these and re-glue them. Everything that I'm about to do, you've already seen me do, so I'm not gonna show it on camera. 
All right, so for you, it was only a couple seconds. For me, it was like two days. First, we're gonna do a dry fit of our dowels into the plugs and make sure that the arm pieces actually fit and will come back together just fine. Okay, so I have it dry fitted. On this side, there is a little bit of gap in there, but I think once I get some pressure on that, that should pull it together a little bit more and tidy it up. This side fits a lot better, so I'm happy with that. Right now, nothing left to it, but to go ahead and glue it. So here we have the arms of the chair glued back on and clamped in place. So with this, I was, I'm actually pretty lucky on the arms, there's little nubs on the outside of the top part. That actually provides a really excellent place to put the clamp onto. That way I can get enough pressure from the arm to the back to squeeze diagonally at. And I also have a clamp going from the corner glue joint down to the base. And then, of course, the arm attaches to the frame by two screws, and so those are tightened together. So I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours, come back to it, and we should have the chair all the way done. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you're interested in other restoration videos, I have a playlist queued up over there. And for my most recent project, check out this video over here. And if you haven't done so yet and you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And also make sure to hit that like button and share this with somebody that also might find this interesting. Make sure to be on the lookout for future videos when I finish putting these chairs completely back together with the upholstery and the original padding. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. Bye.